Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Manager Mode. Um, a few of you have sort of said check out the free agents and check out who's on the shows on the tran who's on the transfer list and all that sort of stuff. Um, there is absolutely no one. It's that it's a real flaw. It's a real bug in my opinion that there'd only be like there's only like 40 players on the transfer list and on the free list, and it and like no big profile players at all. Like that's that's crazy. Every club is looking to offload players at times, you know. Michael Johnson from and Rory De Lapp are the two highest rated players available for transfer. In my opinion, that's not, that's that's a bit silly. They should be more available. But you can approach anyone, so it's not too big a deal. I'm going to send out a scout. Um, it's a really good thing to do to send out a scout because they don't cost that much money. And um, if they pl find a player of any kind of value... When he comes of age, you can sell him for a fortune. So it's a great way of boosting funds um, in the club. So I'm just going to pop a, a scout out on a mission. Just got the cheapest scout. I'm just going to send him to like somewhere in Europe. See if he can spot any talent. And if he does, we'll pick him up for nothing. You know, like a grand a week or something. And you can go on to sell him for millions. So uh, This is the League Cup Round 1, I believe. We are playing Hartlepool. And um, I just thought I'd... I'm going to sim some matches and play some matches. I hope that's okay. Um, some P, Someone asked what um, level I was playing on. Um, I'm actually playing on World Class. Legendary is too hard for me. Um, but uh, it's very competitive on... Um, pro, oh, very... Effect, uh, very <laughs> Sorry, I'll start again. Um, it's very competitive for me on World Class. That's about my level. For some reason, and I have no idea why... Hartlepool played like crap. I really struggled in like the friendly matches. Like, I don't know, I think I got a 2-1 win and a 1-0 win or uh, maybe a one all draw as well in the friendly matches. But in this, Hartlepool didn't just turn just didn't turn up at all. And I don't know if that is like, I don't know if they take into account like how well I've been doing as a manager or squaddy type stuff or all that sort of stuff. I try and go for a FIFA 13 style free kick here with a little chip. A uh, bit of a fail, but uh, it went in in the end. Which is uh, which is good, but I will score one of those at some point, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, for for some what for whatever reason, this game was super easy, and uh, the other games I've had have been really competitive. So I don't know if they look at morale and form, and and they are a division below and all that sort of stuff. So so we got away with a cheeky five-one win. They scored a goal, but it wasn't special, so I cut it out. I'm gonna send this scout to he's German. I'm gonna send him to Germany. I don't know why. I just thought I would. Um, I don't think they don't think there's any like skill to where you send them. It's just how much you pay, it's how reliable the source, and maybe how many they'll find. But they'll always find some somewhere. So I really don't. I don't know. I don't know if there's any tricks to scouting network. But uh, I'm gonna send a guy out. See if we can make some money off a player, which is cool. Now I'm gonna sim loads of games now, as well. Um, I think I'm gonna sim five matches so we. So we're a nice little chunk into the season at the end of this mat, end of this uh, episode. I am also going to um, pick up a couple of free transfers. After a few games in, we pick up a couple of injuries. Uh, Jive gets injured in this one. We pick up a couple of injuries, and I notice that like certain areas of the pitch, we're getting more tired than others. Like uh, Murphy and Dunn are both old players. So they're both going to need a lot of rest. Dunn gets really tired, even when he's sat on the bench and doesn't get on. So um, so I went and got a centre-back to replace Jive, who was out for three months, or a couple of months or something. And um, another free agent who's just going to be like the third-choice centre midfielder. And um, one thing I should say, I think that what you just saw then was my first negotiation with him. And because I didn't put first team player, he didn't want to come. So I lied and said he'd be a first team player to get him in. So he'll probably have low morale at the end of the season. But uh, Selavi, we only need him to do a job. If we get promoted, we will. Um, well, they're going to have to really upgrade the squad into a Premier League standard squad. So, so yeah, he rejected the bid. So I changed it to um, specify that he was going to be part of the first team plans. Uh, important first team player. This crucial, important, and then rotation. I think. Um, yeah, 
I beat Huddersfield Town 1-0. That was a great result. The actual one all with Birmingham, I think, is a great result as well because uh, they are a very strong team. They're probably, as long with, along with Blackburn and, and Leicester and, and Nottingham Forest or whoever, they're, they're probably favourites to do quite well this season. So so a good win away against Huddersfield Town, who've got a strong squad, and, um, and a good draw against Birmingham as well, who are going to be a title contender. Um, Morton Gans Pedersen is like one of the best players in my squad, but he de- <laughs> he sort of he suggested I should drop such and such and pick him for this match. Um, what I tend to do when those come in, they come in quite a lot. In FIFA 12, I used to get stung on the arse. If, I, if a guy demanded to be picked and I picked him, he used to have a mare of a game. So now I just do it on what I was going to do anyway, and I sort of ignore them. Um, and Peterson, Peterson was always going to come in for this game anyway, so so uh, we uh, slipped him in. I should say the free agents guys, I don't even properly know their names. They, uh, Masarino is this centre-back guy. He's 30, 69 rated, all-round average sort of player. Um, yeah, so no great shakes. But, um, yeah, but they're, so they're not like they're not outstanding in any way. I haven't picked them out of any sort of intelligence. They're literally just to fill a gap. Pick up a nice win against Ipswich. As well, we're doing really well with the simulated matches. Um, let me know if you have a problem with me simulating matches. I think that's more the point, really, with manager mode progression. Because really, you know, if I play the matches, I'm probably going to win the majority anyway. But the skill is to get your team to win without you sort of thing, I guess. Um, Charlton are bottom of the league at the moment, actually, when we played them in this game. They are really struggling. Um, I don't know how they're getting on in real life, but um, they're really struggling in this game. And uh, we beat them 3-0 and they're rock bottom of the league as it goes. So loads and loads more matches and the transfer deadline day in the next episode, guys. Stay tuned. Cheers.